everyone, how's it going? Evan here with a new episode of our devlog series for Retro MMO. Thank you guys for tuning in, and if you haven't watched our last episode, be sure to check it out. The link is in the description. It's been a few weeks, so we have a lot of fun features to cover today. Let's jump into it. First up, we have a fun little update to how your character interacts with the Retro MMO world. Every time your character runs into a wall, or any collidable tile for that matter, it plays a bonk noise. A super important feature for sure. Bonking into tiles isn't the only new sound effect in Retro MMO. Now while in encounters, each ability has its own unique sound. Nothing like the clashing of metal and the death cries of your enemies to get you fired up for battle. Another fun feature recently added was for character movement. Now you have the ability to turn your character while standing in place by simply holding the shift button and using the movement keys. So go spin around in the middle of town and wow everyone with your dance moves. With all of this fancy footwork for your character, you want to make sure you look your best. And now you can because of the new vanity tab in your inventory. This allows you to equip and unequip cosmetics such as your body wear, head wear, clothes colors, and hair color. Looking good while defeating your enemies makes the win so much sweeter. As of right now, the only cosmetics available are the ones you choose when creating your character, but don't you worry, more customization will be added in the future. A major update was done to the battle system. There is now a menu where you are able to choose different abilities that you have unlocked through leveling. The heal ability is the newest addition to this menu. Now you're able to fight even more monsters for longer, just make sure you don't run out of MP. When you next leave the town, you might notice that the overworld has a new look. The snowstorm from the Christmas event has subsided and revealed a transformed landscape. Before there were grassy fields and snowy plains, now a deep dark forest has taken over a good portion of the map. Take a buddy with you, you never know what you might find out there. If you're brave enough to venture into the deepest parts of the forest, you might discover a dark and spooky cave waiting to be explored. Within this cave you'll find wicked little goblins waiting to destroy you and take all your hard earned gold. This cave is not for the faint of heart. With treacherous caves and deadly goblins, it only makes sense that we add in some kind of reward for players. And we've done so in the form of treasure chests. The chests contain quite a bit of gold and they may be in some unsuspected places. The town, for example, might be hiding one of these chests. Good luck on your search. As we started working on some more difficult content for players to engage in, we figured it was about time to raise the level cap. Before the max level was 5 and the new cap was level 10. So head out into the overworld and start grinding levels to take on those troublesome goblins. In our last video we talked about continuing to add special perks for those who subscribe to Retro MMO. In this update we have added extra character slots for subscribers. Subscribers have access to 8 character slots, whereas non-subscribers have 2. More perks are coming in the future, so keep an eye out. So that's all for this week. We hope all the new updates and features have you excited to play Retro MMO, because I am super excited to keep pushing out content for you guys. These latest updates have advanced Retro MMO into a more engaging and skill-based game, and I promise this is just the beginning. We will be back with a new episode covering even more features very soon. If you enjoy this video, please let me know by leaving a like, and if you'd like to see even more from me, consider subscribing. You have no idea how much your support is appreciated. If you're interested in watching me work on Retro MMO Live, head over to my Twitch page, where I stream daily. There's a decent chance I'm live right now. Link is in the description. Oh, and before I go, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Covalence. Covalence is a full stack web development bootcamp, and is actually the school I attended. If you're interested in learning web development, I highly recommend that you check them out with the link in the description. Covalence's goal is to bring you from zero programming experience to a career-ready software developer, and that is exactly what they did for me. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.